Mark, point away from home, a clean sheet. Um, how happy are you about today's performance? Um, I was happy with the first half performance, although in fairness we should have been two or three up. You know, we'd, we'd got really good chances. We were moving the ball well. We created a number of opportunities. We had shots a lot from distance, but we had some some really good opportunities. And final pass let us down, or the final finish let us down. But we were taking the opportunities, for taking the shots. So um, that's a that, that was a positive. Clean sheets a huge positive because we've been conceding too many. And um, we we I thought we did really well in fairness. I thought we defended. I thought we defended well, and I think we threw our bodies on the line when we needed to. In the second half, we sort of got a little bit sloppier with the passing. Um, that could be a number of things, tiredness or whatever, but um, I thought we threw bodies on the line. I thought we won headers where we needed to. When the ball came in the box, we dealt with it. And at the end there, McFadzie has thrown his head on, the, on, on a ball that's ended up going over the bar. And, and when we had the sending off, obviously, they put the pressure on. They smelt that they had a chance of, of, uh, of winning. Then it's a, it's a case of what do I do? Do I bring a midfield player on with Josh Eccles or, or keep the two strikers on? And he would have meant probably bringing uh, Victor off and I wanted to try and keep both of them on. Tyler worked his socks off as well in terms of getting back into a position, but between the two, midfield and then up front, and we, we almost got in again with the, with the two, um, with the man down. So in, in the end, a really good point away from home. They're always hard for, and um, especially Derby. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, and I've got to, I've got to be, I've got to be happy with it at the end of it, but slightly disappointed. Just going back to the first half, the, the team seemed to play with a lot more pressure in the first half. They created like 11 chances, they had 58% possession. Kind of picked up where the yeah. second half was at Luton. Was that something you talked about on the training ground this week? And obviously as well, Gus Hamer having something like six or seven shots. Yeah, on, on the bounce and, and uh, really, if one hits the target, you know, one's on the target and goalkeeper, he actually. Had uh, you're facing Ruddy in goal, and, and, and he's got a safe pair of hands. He's a really experienced goalkeeper. And there was one that bounced just in front of him that I thought he might have spilled, and we were there to gobble that up if, if that came off him, but it didn't come off him. You know, they kept they kept that there. But yeah, I mean, obviously we've spoken about it the, the other day, but these things come with a little bit of confidence and, and a bit of momentum. We've not been able to build it, and I've been saying it all the time. And, and we need the games, and then obviously now we've had we've had two this week, and then we've got a, a, an international break that we probably didn't need. Having said that, we need every... that. Is that uh, you see international break come at a good or a bad time? Uh, for, for us, not a great time because we want to keep playing. But you know, like I say, they'll have some downtime. They'll work, but they'll have some downtime. We'll have a little bit of a balance um, because of what's coming next. You know, and obviously we've lost Hamer now for four games.